Time now for sports with Scott Breen. Now, welcome back, everybody. Double the fun, double the tennis domination for Q2's Athletes of the Week. Casey Conlon shows us how they just capped a perfect season. As soon as Annie Woods lost in the 2018 State Doubles Championship match, the planning started. Last year, after like state and everything, we like talked about it, and we're like, oh, it'd actually be really fun if we could play doubles together. Woods' partner Mackenzie Gilsdorf was graduating, so she needed a new one for her senior year. And it just so happened, longtime friend Gigi Montag was sick of singles. Singles is just so, it's mentally brutal. Like, you're just out there, just bare, it's, uh, oh. got it, Gigi. <laughs> I don't know, I like the aspect of doubles where you have a partner to, you know, resemble your energy, I guess. Woods couldn't agree more. This is what she looks for in a doubles partner. What Gigi got, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, just someone who has fun, you know? And doesn't sweat the small things, which that's what Gigi does. And strong player, great ground strokes, just overall fantastic player. Put two of those together and you get an undefeated season, complete with a state championship. <laughs> Though you wouldn't have known it based on their reactions. The boys coach, he videoed the final point and he was like, you guys didn't jump or yell or anything. I went in for a hug, you know, like, you know, that was they usually go. And then, then she was like giving me a high five. It's like, okay, we'll give high fives. And then she's like, oh, we're actually giving hugs. And I'm like, uh, it's too late now. <laughs> then we just shook hands and called it good. And maybe it was because Montag knew what happened the last time she got a little too excited about 20 minutes before the final match. <laughs> I um, was a little bit of a nervous wreck before the finals. I um, threw up in my lunchbox. When she's laying down, I'm like, oh no, not deja vu again from divisionals. Yes, Montag did the same thing against the same team a week before in the divisional championship before rallying to win 6-1-6-0. So guess what happened Friday? took some Tums and I think it was like Pepto-Bismol. I don't know, I was just giving, taking whatever my mom gave me and okay. then I got out on the court and felt fine. And I was thinking, oh no, we don't have to forfeit this, do we? And the state championship, right? And, but she pulled it through, got some Pepto-Bismol and she made it through, but yeah, I was definitely a little freaked out. It was another 6-1, 6-0 win, a fitting end to a pairing they won't soon forget. I'm going to cry so much on the, when we have our banquet. <laughs> That's a much better outlet. <laughs> Casey Conlon, MTN Sports. <laughs> Banquets tomorrow night, by the way. Annie's headed to Carroll College this fall, and Gigi's only a junior, so she's seeking her own new doubles tennis partner. Your State A tournament, of course, opens Thursday in Kalispell.